what it do with you to today's video on my channel with a quick impromptu video and today's video you know I just want to give more spiritual updates more updates what's going on with the Diddy situation also I want to talk about Suge Knight yes you know Mary and Suge Knight the one who got Tupac out of jail signed him to death row records you feel me he did an interview a couple days ago the shit went viral overnight you know, a lot of cities have started to get interested. So, um, it's just people starting to talk. So, I've been doing my research. You know, I've been watching Law and Crime Network. Shout them out. I fuck with them heavily. You know what I'm saying? Law and Crime Network. They cool. Um, you know, it's like a basically just a, a, just really just a, a channel that got a whole bunch of different like lawyers and uh, district attorneys and people that's just in the um in the law field you see what i'm saying they just you know talking about you know different crimes that people have committed around the world and um they pick up popular cases and just talk about them and stuff like that they not only just talk about the diddy case they're talking about all different other type of crimes too they just report it's the law and crime network you see what i'm saying but um shout out to jesse weber too he's actually a good spokesman but um yeah, so Long Crime Network, I had just put, I just put something together, right? Because they had basically confirmed what I was thinking. So in a video I did a couple of days ago, I said that um, Jay Z had a mistress that he cheated on Beyonce with, and he was dealing with her for like a few years or whatever. This was back in the day, and then randomly uh, she was found dead at her apartment in two thousand eighteen. And this is Jay-Z's mistress, and it's crazy because Jay-Z works under P. Diddy, right? P. Diddy's wife, Kim Porter, she mysteriously died from pneumonia in 2018. But she died in California. Jay-Z mistress died in New York. See, they made sure that when they was found dead, that they wasn't found dead nowhere near each other. You see what I'm saying? And I got to look up the dates to make sure that the dates weren't close either. But um, the girl that Jay-Z was dealing with, she died at 28 in 2018. And Kim Porter was like 46 or something like that, 47, something like that when she passed away. And it's just crazy because they were supposed to be mistresses and stuff like that. And um, they both were found dead the same year, but they was both found dead on opposite coasts of each other. And that's for a reason, because if they was both found dead in New York or both found dead in LA, I mean, that's just too much suspicion. They gonna easily connect the dots. This Kim Porter, this is the girl that Jay-Z was dealing with. And it's actually a reporter of Germany. But yeah, they made sure that, that, um, that they died on opposite coasts from each other because if they both was found dead in New York or LA, motherfuckers could've easily put that together. Like I was saying, there's a journalist, this white woman, I forgot her name, but uh, she got the whole scoop on the whole Jay-Z and his mistress story. She got pictures, she got timestamps, receipts, evidence, all that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, hopefully nothing happens to her. And also, speaking about that TikToker who had, who was exposing Diddy and the industry and stuff like that, she was like this white chick that had blonde hair. She was actually pretty cute too, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because that she was like, that was my type. Like she talked about the conspiracy shit. She actually got her own following, her own she had her own movement. She's doing millions and millions of views because she's on TikTok and stuff. But I'm throwing tens of hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube when we're talking about the same shit. But the thing about it is she got found dead because um of some foul play. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's just making too much noise. But when I found this out, like, I didn't know this girl or whatever, but I just felt it in my soul. And I feel some type of way about it because it's like, that's the type of shit that Jay-Z and P. Diddy and them fuck niggas do. They'll try to go harm a female or some somebody they think is an easy target. But I'm exposing the same type of shit. I mean, she was coming with a little bit more details and facts and shit. Because, you know, gangs and shit, they call it T.D. Jakes, General High Booty. <laughs> Boy, what the fuck? Boy, that shit crazy. She called him Diddy Mr. Freak Off, which is true. And it's just crazy because that's my cup of tea. Like, why can't I meet more females in real life that's actually on that type of time? Like, Shorty was literally 
on my type of time, like whether it's foes and shit, whether it's deprivation and shit, like she was real smart. So rest in peace to her. I feel some type of way about it for real, for real, because you know, Diddy and them know what's up with me. They know I keep that spirit child. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm speaking about this shit because I said Diddy had something to do with Tupac getting killed. Real shit. You know, and Suge Knight didn't come out and actually say that, or Suge Knight knows the truth because he even hinted at it and said that P. Diddy was a FBI informant for a long time and still could be, which he is because it's like, don't you have those type of federal ties? What it is connected to the ATF, the DEA, the FBI, or um, the CIA, Homeland Security. Don't you have, don't you have informant for these people, or you have ties to these people? You got ties with them for the rest of your life. They watching your family. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit. They monitor you. All that shit, bro. Real talk. Just because you had a rel- just because you had a relative or a close friend or something that worked with these people. And they probably either ended up in jail or they died, but they was involved with these people. So that gives you and your family a direct connection to the CIA or the ATF, FBI, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I think, really, I think the FBI is over ATF and the DEA. I think so. I'm not sure. But I think they could be their own just individual branches. I know DEA is drug enforcement agency and ATF is alcohol, tobacco, firearms, some shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like different branches, but I think they all work under the FBI because the FBI is like the bigger brother, bigger branch, you know, of both of those. I think I would assume. And then CIA would be over FBI because it's a central intelligence agency, which is still on the federal level. But, um, yeah, man, that shit was just crazy. And then so now we just coming out just saying all this other stuff. Like I said, one of the people who had groomed P. Diddy was Clive Davis. He said it, but it wasn't just Clive Davis. It was Andre Jarrell, too. And see, so basically, and this is just my opinion of it, the reason why he got groomed slash uh, mentored by those two people is because Clive Davis was more of the Masonic Illuminati type of puppet who knew the ins and outs of the industry that way. And Andre Harrell was a drug trafficker, you know, gang member killing machine type motherfucker who was a money getting motherfucker, but he was tied in with the elites too because of the drug traffic. And that's how they end up eating, I said eating, what the fuck? That's how they end up meeting Epstein because you gotta remember Epstein was a high powerful sex trafficker. But you gotta remember, I told y'all this before, drug trafficking, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, animal trafficking, you know what I'm saying? All this different type of trafficking, you know what I'm saying? Human trafficking, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, all that shit. It's all the same shit, and it all starts in phases. First, it starts off technically with human trafficking. You can say that because when you got people that's going to sell drugs or sell humans or whatever they're doing, they got to go drive themselves and their crew out to go get the drugs. Then they got to go drive that shit and dispense it or set up shop. You see what I'm saying? So human trafficking, drug trafficking, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, because it goes like this, right? Like I said, human trafficking first, because the people got to go out there and go meet the drugs. You got to go out there and traffic yourself. You're human, right? You drive, you got to go out there and traffic yourself to go get the shit. And then once you actually go get the drugs and shit, now you got to, that's why they call it moving weight. You got to move that shit to the city. You got to push that shit to other states and shit. Whether you got other motherfuckers working for you, you front them or whether you're doing that shit yourself and you just got a legit team and y'all moving that shit yourself, but that's human trafficking and drug trafficking. But then sex trafficking is involved with this because now you're trafficking other humans too, but you're trafficking them for sex and drug and other humans are involved. So that's human trafficking, drug trafficking, sex trafficking. And then after they use the people up in sex trafficking and then they kill them, they usually traffic their organs. Or when people go to these exotic ass countries like Dubai or Singapore or, um, you know, Thailand, motherfucking China, all these different exotic places and stuff like that. And that's just the name of a few, man. You got Australia, 
We got motherfucking Netherlands. We got motherfucking New Zealand. Boy, I could keep going on and on and on. I named some places y'all niggas never even heard of. We got Timor Leste. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, boy, that's a Pacific Islander country. Yeah. And they currency is USD. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, we got all these different countries and shit. You know, um, so in all these different places. So, you know, people, they can traffic exotic animals back to America. That's what they do. That's what they get animal trafficking. A lot of people don't really know too much about it, but this is a real thing. That's why a lot of these people, like, they be, they be uh, animal trafficking parrots and all this different type of stuff because these are exotic animals that come from different countries. And, you know, they, they buy the animals in that country, breed them, and usually if they're smart enough, they usually just keep them in their shirts or something like that. Or you know how it go. You know, shit like that. And they just, you know, breed them and illegally sell them, traffic them, animal trafficking. So this shit deep, bro. But uh, yeah, man, shit getting crazy and crazy about the day. But we're going to see as things continue to unfold. Thank you for down that. More videos coming soon. Fuck Daily. Fuck all this nigga gang. You know how we rocking now.